Hey coin collectors, today we're going to take a look at the 1984 year set from Great Britain or the United Kingdom. And this one right here on top, this little tiny one, is an interesting one. First off, the portrait here is the Arnold Machen portrait, the second portrait of Queen Elizabeth. It says DG Reg. FD 1984, by the grace of God, Regina or Queen, Defender of the Faith 1984, then Elizabeth II in here. We see this kind of dotted or pearled outer rim, which doesn't touch. And then when we flip it over, we see this is the half penny coin. So the half penny coin um, in 1984, uh, they were getting ready to stop using them. But this one still came out in 84. And this one you notice that these are kind of shiny coins. In the United Kingdom, they have what they call a brilliant uncirculated set. We can get all the coins for the year, kind of with a special polish to them. You can use them if you want, or you could, as long as they were good. Um, but they are, they're just much nicer than the regular coins that go out. This one here, you notice it's quite a bit bigger. Well, this is the penny coin. We put these in order of size for all the coins. So we're good. they're not going to be in money order. They're going to be in size order. And you notice they all have that Arnold Machen portrait on the front. This is the one penny coin. And in 1984, they made 154, almost 155 million of these. It says one penny here. It has the crown portocullis right here. This is the gate. It's also the symbol of the Houses of Parliament. Next up was the 20 pence coin. And look at this one. It's kind of all cut in, and then there's the incused letters around the outside. Again, the Arnold Machen portrait. You can see that it is an equilateral curved heptagon, I believe. It says 20 here, pence here, also in Q's, and then 19 separated by a crown Tudor rose in 84. So there's your 1984. And down here we see the 20 is both sticking up on the inside and in cues on the outside. Just a beautiful coin. And it's funny that we don't have a half penny, or never did, well, not for a long, long time. And we don't have a 20 pence coin. Um, we do have a half dollar. And we did at one time have what was called a half dime. And I'm going to show you that. Here's a United States half dime. Came out in the 1870s. And at the same time, this is called Seated Liberty. Um, at the same time this half dime came out, the United States had a 20 cents coin. Um, the problem with those coins is minimum you pay for them is somewhere around $100, so I don't have one. But um, for from 1875 to 1878, uh, the United States had some 20 cent coins. And the British still have the 20 pence coin. And this one's the big one. Um, would, would, like I said, we're going by size, and this is a big one because it's a big one in terms of value. When United, the United Kingdom in 1971 fully went to decimalized coins, they made the penny worth one hundredth of a pound. Prior to that, the uh, British penny, or the Great Britain penny, there were 240 to a pound, or 480 half pennies. When they went to the decimal system and made it 100 to the pound, they came out with pound coins also. And uh, this is the 1984 pound coin, the Scottish thistle, and it's it's going through the crown right here. And you can see the roots of the thistle. It says one pound. So this is 100 pence or 100 pennies or 200 half pennies. This next one, just a real beautiful coin. It's a nickel coin. Um, nickel in terms of what it's made out of. And we flip it over and it's nickel in terms of almost like a five cent coin, but it's a five pence coin. Again, you notice this. So the pounds changed for the different, um, they had the Welsh, they had the Scottish, they had the English, and they have um, some Northern Irish symbolism too. Um, but this is the five pence, and this was on the five pence all the time, and that is the Crown Scottish Thistle also. Next up is kind of a middle one. It's bigger than the others, but we see that this one has a little bit of marking to it, but this is the two pence coin. It says, Ick Dean, I serve, and this is the um, Prince Charles' uh, symbol here. The ostrich feathers going through the crown and the I serve. Two pence with a two down here. Next up, what's this one? Well, we haven't gotten to the ten pence coin yet, so I bet that's what it is. 
and it is, and it's the crowned lion on the 10 pence coin. Um, and it's just a really, really nice um, engraving of a lion. And this, again, this is made of nickel. And finally, the biggest of all for 1984 was this 50p coin. And again, everything else is the same, just beautiful coin. Um, has the rounded edges again. And then on the back, we see Britannia seated, holding an olive branch and a trident, lion at her feet, uh, the British shield behind her or next to her. And down here it says 50, and above it says 50 pence. So this is the, this is, and I'll do them in order of value. So there was the pound, then there was the 50 pence, then there was the 20 pence, no quarter in England, so no 25 pence. Then there was, so they went 20, then they went 10, 5, 2, 1, and 1 half. And again, for these brilliant uncirculated sets from 1984, they only made 158,000 of them. Get one if you can, because they're kind of nice, and they're just beautiful examples of the Great Britain, United Kingdom, UK currency from 1984. We'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and leave any comments you might have in the comments section.